Hey guys, so in today's video I'm reviewing the 2016 Jaguar XJL with a 3 liter V6 supercharged engine producing 340 horsepower and I want to let you guys know a couple things. I was recording with my um, camera on this phone and also the camera on my regular camera and on the regular camera I don't know what I was doing wrong or why like why it was going slow motion some of the time and some of the time it was going normal speed and recording my sound but I, get, I wanted to let you know if some of the clips in this video seem weird or kind of like shitty I guess because <laughs> I'm gonna admit it is kind of shitty that cause some of the clips because I had to edit them really weird because of some of them were slow motion with no sound and some I was like half of the sound video wouldn't have sound and then some of it would and it was just really weird so some of these clips might be kind of weird for you guys but I just wanted to let you guys know that before I start off the video and show you guys the video that I made on the car because, you know, I think I did like a pretty, I did better than I thought on it, but then of course, whatever I had to do with the camera on my uh, regular camera, I just kind of fucked it up a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to have some clips from the phone and from the camera on here, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Just bear in mind what I said just now. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys at the end of the video. If you guys are aware with Jags, um, they have this that pops up right here, which is the shifter. You can put it in uh, sport mode down here. I have not driven one of these, but I'm interested in Jags, and I thought I'd make the review today. So, as, I don't know if you guys can really hear, but the car sounds pretty cool. I'm going to rev it up a little bit. I believe this one comes with a V6 3.0. You have all your climate controls, your phone connectivity, and I don't know what that is because it doesn't say the name on it. But we also have the radio right here, which this car does have pretty good sound. The Meridian surround sound system. Also on the steering wheel, we got up and down for volume, channel change, which is not working right now because, well, I'll tell you, we're having a little notification, but also have hands-free calling right here, as well as cruise control. You got your knob here for the air conditioning which as you can see by this, there are si seven dials on here for however hot you want, or however high you want the air to blow. You also have dual zone up here. So in the whole car you have uh, quad zone climate control. Everything in this car, this is something I've always liked about Jags, is everywhere you look, you're gonna see either leather or wood or this piano black veneer. There's a very nice old school looking clock here in the middle, right between the air vents. The car also does have a um, sensor right there. So if someone is beside you, your mirrors will tell you that. And it is for both sides as well. I don't know if you can really tell on that side. All right guys, so we also in the front passenger seat, we have another speaker here and another speaker here, as well as the driver's seat. We have three person memory for the passenger as well as driver. We have this thing here which has some nice, uh, feels like Alcantara padding on the inside. I'm not going to be able to really show you because it's right here under that leather. Um, we also have this wood trimming, which if you guys are, well, know about Jags, you guys know they've been doing this for years. They have this wood trimming across that goes all the way down into the other door. They also have a nice wood and leather trim on the steering wheel. And don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that these cup holders right here are both heated and cooled. You also have your uh, 
one of the glove boxes right, or armrest glove box right here which has a 12 volt battery or the 12 volt battery charger um hdmi two usbs and a sim card and then you have this right here which is similar to the trunk except it's touch sensitive and it opens right up which is very cool i also did forget to mention that there is one speaker right there in the doors as well but i want to show you the seats because jaguar just updated in the 2016 they haven't had any uh, 2017s yet, so we got to review this 2016, but it is very cool. They updated the seats with this uh, diamond stitching, which you can also find on, I believe it's the Mercedes S65s. Um, it is very nice. It's a very nice touch to the car. I'm glad they did it. And if you guys know about Jaguar, their leather is always very nice and plush. We got the... Uh, Jaguar or, uh, name right here and obviously for your mirrors and for your windows and your window lock as well. Right here we have the supercharged V6 3.0 engine producing 340 horsepower. Very good but we have a very a pretty good sized trunk for this size of car and right up here press this button trunk automatically goes down very cool right here we do have the panoramic panoramic sunroof on the car which I forgot to show you in the last uh, or in the first clip actually another thing about this car is if you fail to shut the door all the way it automatically shuts itself this car is also the long wheelbase version which as you will see you have a ton of legroom in here very nice car you have heated and ventilated seats right here oh right here sorry guys <laughs> Um, you also have dual zone climate control in the back, which is very nice. You have these, uh, jet looking, very cool, like, <laughs> jet looking, um, air vents. Totally drove link. And right here you have probably the only thing I would rate the car bad on is you have to pull these up yourself, which I know it's so hard to do with the sunshade. But, um, you also have lock and unlock buttons right up here your ashtray a nice good sized speaker here and here on both doors as you can tell and i don't know if this really does it justice but i have probably a good foot and a half or two feet where my knees are to hitting this chair and that's with some of my size i'm about five six to five eight or something all right so i hope you guys did enjoy that review of the car keep in mind it is my first review i've ever done on a car on this channel and it's something i really enjoyed to do i hope you guys like i said enjoyed it too but if i know i can improve on it i just need to know like your feedback and what you think i could do better to make the reviews better um and like you guys said or like i said in like some other videos that you guys know I am into cars and I wanted to feature cars more on this channel as well because to me they're kind of like my little motivation thing I guess is you know luxury and exotic cars and I know if you guys follow me you guys might also be interested in cars um but yeah I just wanted to say like if you guys did like the video please subscribe please like and uh please give some constructive feedback on how I can improve on a car review for next time and also if you guys um did like it as well share the video to facebook or to your friends or whatever anyways guys have a great day i'll see you guys in the next video